Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Our mission here at the garage is to save you guys as much money as we can. That's why we make these absolutely free videos guys. Let's go ahead and start on it now. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we will show you how to replace a tire with a tire sensor TPMS in it. Okay, that's the one out of a Sonata right here. And we're gonna show you two different ones. Uh, Okay, the Sonata, you can see some of them are the bulky sensors right here. Uh, so you know that there is a sensor inside, okay? And uh, you need to take the needle out of there. This one is a flat tire, so there won't be probably any air. And that's out of, of a Ford Focus. And it looks like a regular valve stand, but it has a sensor in it. So uh, we recommend always to be careful. And some other ones even have the sensor inside the wheel in the middle. But... Uh, can't tell you exactly what vehicle is that. So we need to break it loose. You wanna start with the outside guys and you wanna be far away from the valve stem. Okay, it's down there because that's where the sensor is. So we need to, uh, okay, loosen the, okay, the tire from the wheel. You can see, okay, it needs a little bit more, but never do it in the sensor area. Okay, that's good. Now we're gonna flip it the other way and again we are going to look okay let me show you where the valve stem is now it's down there it's out of the way always make sure it's out of the way okay and uh, this one it's pretty stuck so you need to go a little bit okay just a little bit here and there it might take you four or five times for the back bead. Usually that's the one that seals pretty good. So now we're gonna get that spot a little bit here. And always check the valve stem on the inside to make sure that it's not in the way. Okay, it's almost going there. We just get a little bit more left. Okay, like that, that's should be enough. Now we're gonna get it on the tire machine and we we'll show you what you need to do next. You need to make sure that, uh, okay, catch the, catch the wheel good, make sure it's stable there. Okay, and we're gonna turn the valve stem to the position that we start usually. Okay, so let me show you now right here. We need to get that one in. Okay, like that. And you can see the valve stem is right before where we're gonna catch, okay. And now uh, we're just gonna get the bar and you have to be careful not to get the valve stem. That's very important. Okay, so we're just gonna go in like that there. Okay, you can see that's a, okay, that's a valve stem with the sensor inside. You need to push in on the back side so you don't have any pressure. And it just goes like that. Now we're gonna turn it. Okay, like that, it came out and we're going to do the same procedure for the back side. You need to make sure that the valve stem again is right before the point we're picking. Now, that's very, very tricky. You need to get to the bottom bead, okay, right there. You need to, you need to make sure that it doesn't catch the, okay, the sensor. Okay, so the sensor is safe. You can see like that. So we're gonna go ahead, pull it out now. Okay, we're halfway done. We took the tire off. Usually that's the most uh, dangerous thing with, uh, with those sensors. That's when people break them. Installing the new tire will be easier. Stay with us, we'll show you how to do that now. It's, that's the time to remove all the, all the weights and stuff like that if you have on the wheel. Okay, right there now. Awesome, we got that one out. And this is the tires we'll be installing guys, brand new tires practically, I mean we had them on another car but they have less than 1000 miles on it. So uh, what we usually, you can get the, the tire lubricant, you can just, what we do, a little bit of detergent with, with water, it lubricates it really good to be honest with you. Okay, like that. And we need to get the back side as well. Right here, you need to make sure that there is no dry spot at all. It needs to be lubricated really good, otherwise you're risking of breaking the bead. Now, it's important to position the sensor 
Okay, let me show you where the machine is now. We're gonna get, okay, the arm in right there. We need to uh, lock it in place now. Okay. Okay, like that. And the sensor needs to be about 120 degrees from it. You, get, you, you need to make sure it's there, okay? So with the valve stem dot right here for a better balancing, we're, get, we're gonna get that one. And we, you're gonna start right here, right before we hit the sensor, like that. Okay, and we're gonna turn it now. And it's out of the way. Now what we need to do, again, you need to wait for it to come right there. Okay, like that. And we're gonna press in again. Okay, we need to make sure that we have it right here on the arm. Okay, like that. Otherwise, you can break the bead. Okay, and you can see right here is the valve stem. So it's not in yet. That, that needs to be the last point that pops in. Okay, like that. That's what we need. And all we have to do now we always release it from the machine because if it explodes uh, we don't want it to be holding there okay to get out of the way and uh, we're just gonna put air without the needle within the valve stem now it's gonna pop so stay out of the way never lean towards the tire because if it explodes it's going to be in your face okay one side is out second side so that's good and all you have to do guys just put the the appropriate amount of air in it and uh, that's the whole procedure you need to balance it we have a video review about that tire machine and our balancer that are really cheap on ebay and they work amazing for what we need them so uh, if you if you need that just uh, check out the channel as well so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and let us know what you think so guys hopefully the video was helpful if you have any questions don't hesitate to let us know now check out our youtube channels guys we have more than 19,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs that's why we make these absolutely free videos hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you guys next time